All right, just wanted to make this video for anyone interested in the Aprilia 660, whether it be the Tuono or the RS. Um, I've owned this bike for a month and a half and I'm trading it in tomorrow. Um, you know, you watch a lot of reviewers who are paid by the company to make videos and they're not exactly the most accurate um, portrayals of the bike. So I figure I'd give you my two cents just for anyone interested in this bike. It is a gorgeous bike, that's for sure. It's definitely a good looking bike. But it has lots of issues. Um, I'm coming from an MT-09. I had a 2017. I was uh, in a very bad bike accident. I was T-boned by a driver, but that's another story. Um, basically, my experience with this bike has been okay. Um, well, when I first picked it up uh, a month and a half ago, the check engine light was on. Um, as soon as I got a few kilometers away from the dealership, it popped on. Um, so I immediately brought it back. Uh, they said drive it around for about 100 kilometers and then bring it back, see if it's gone away. So I did that and lo and behold, it did not go away. Um, so I called back in. They told me to just wait to the 1,000 kilometer service, which I did. And at that time, they were able to take care of it. Uh, they gave me a bullshit excuse about why it was on, so I really have no idea. They said something about um, there was a UK setting set on it or something, which uh, even the salesman I purchased it from said there's really no way or reason that would be an issue. Um, so after that um they solved all that issue but recently uh past two times i've detailed it i've noticed that the top of this fork is actually leaking a small amount of oil it's pretty clean right now but um was leaking a small amount of oil so i went in and spoke to the dealer and they told me that the whole assembly um had to be replaced there's no like parts here or, you know a small adjustment or anything that can fix that so that was an issue I had with the bike. That's kind of the tipping point. Also, um, I tried to buy the quick shifter, which is back ordered in Italy for months and months. And even shipping from Italy apparently can be anywhere from three weeks to three months. So there's no way I would be able to get this bike. So there's absolutely no way that I'd be able to get this bike uh, the way I wanted it this season. It would probably be something that would be delivered um, you know later in the season um as in winter or next year that was another thing for me um also the dealer told me they had a bike engine blow up in braking period on another one um they also told me they had a gear shifter fall off on uh another tuono so um you know there's a bunch of other things like i'm not the biggest fan of the twin um coming from the fz and also it's it's just a jerky bike in low rpms extremely jerky like unrideable um if you're going slow speeds you basically can't cruise on this bike but besides that you know it handles great it's got great brakes it's a very attractive bike but i'm just really not interested in the issues or having problems or having to go to the dealer every couple weeks for something couple months for something so yeah i would suggest staying away from this bike unless you know being at the dealer is something you want to do or maybe you know this bike just you think it's the perfect bike for you it is a great bike um it does ride great corners great very flickable but for me personally i miss my old bike too much even though it was totaled i i miss that bike so much so tomorrow i'm actually going to be going and getting another mt09 uh 2022 so I'm going to make a little video of my first ride on that, but I just figured I'd make this video so people interested in this bike particular, whether it be the RS or the Tuono, there's going to be issues. Um, it's also a new bike. It's not a platform they've had for a while. I think it's the second year it's been out. So just be wary purchasing this bike. I think there's a lot of better options. You know, they're not Aprilia, they're not Italian, but for the cost of this bike, um, yeah, there's definitely better options. So hopefully that helps somebody and have a great day.